Hello. You know my name is Khurshid Al Hassan Khan, known as Uncle K. And today I am so glad and honored to be addressing the mothers all around the world. It really is an honor. For the history of the world, of humankind, nothing is as important as procreation, giving birth, increasing the population, for well, that's the mission of God. God has given us sustenance, the time to enjoy life. And of course, God wants us to give others a chance to, by giving birth to a baby child. Be proud. Hold your baby in your hand. Make it go to sleep. For when they sleep, that's the only time they dream. If you have seen a baby smiling in their sleep, in their slumber, they are the kings, the queens, in their castles, without any worry, surrounded by fountains of milk. Let them dream, for they have to face the harsh reality of this world when they grow up and understand that life is not as easy as being in the arms of your mother or your father. Some unlucky babies don't even have either one or the other parent and some don't even have both. Thank God that you as a mother are attached to your baby. The baby is in your arms. Take good care of it. Protect it. Surround it with love, protect it with the emotions, the arguments, the anger in your home. Life is like that. There's nothing wrong with you or your spouse. This is the world. We are emotional human beings. The clashes have to be there. that baby is too young to understand. In fact, you must have felt the baby in your stomach, in the womb, kicking about, turning around, loud noises, shouts, shrieks, make the baby jump in its womb. It is too young to understand the purpose with its glorified eyes it sees its parents it thinks the world all around is nothing but love let it sleep let it dream for there is plenty of time for it to wake up and holding your finger Learn to overcome all hardships and all obstacles. Be proud of your baby. Hi, I'm, I am back. There was not an interruption. We had not stopped the video. We are still on the topic of baby talk. But the scene has changed. That baby in your arms is now crawling on the floor. That time has passed. You have nurtured it. You have fulfilled its desires, its wishes for toys. It has outgrown those toys. 
हीज और शी इज ऑन द वे टू द नर्सरी स्कूल विद द पैंट द फर्स्ट यूनिफॉर्म द फर्स्ट सैचल फुल ऑफ ब्लैंक बुक्स द कलरिंग ड्रॉइंग बुक द कलरिंग पेंसिल्स द क्रेन्स एंड ऑफकोर्स he insisted she insisted that there should be a sharpener also because they have seen the neighbors of their age the other toddlers trying to sharpen their pencils color pencils surprise before we start writing before we start spelling we start drawing sketches squiggles representing them as faces and the first drawing your toddler will do of course may may look like a caricature may look like a sparrow may look like a twiggy figure but in that child's mind it is you your mother, his mother they are attempting to bring that love that admiration they have for you on that paper the only tools to express themselves are the pencils in his hand which he cannot even hold teach them teach them how to hold that pencil for with that pencil he may express himself she may express herself that's the way it is let them grow don't hold don't bottle up their feelings let them speak make the house your home that discipline that atmosphere in the house that respect should be there but speak whatever is in your mind that's the only way they will learn that's the only way they will grow that's the only way they will mature that's the only way they will be prepared for the shocks life has in store for them don't give up don't ever give up your uniform is not new for that baby you have gotten some second hand uniform you have sit you have sat there all night sewing up the tattered uniform the stitches will bear fruit they may be embarrassed to go to a small school while their neighbors in their splashy cars are going to the other schools known as grammar they are maybe learning better than your son or your daughter but you have an advantage the teachers there may be very good very qualified in that other posh school in your small school the best teacher is you yourself for you have that love with that love what you can teach even god will admire